I want to say thank you to everyone that has bought training and thank you to everyone that's about to buy training and shout out to the nerd tribe this is a message for anyone who feels that they're going to get rich with cryptocurrency now i have seen there was one person who replied that he made a million dollars during the last run with bull with cryptocurrency and he posted that comment not once but twice because he wanted me to see it yet the same individual has not provided not an ounce not a shred not a pound of proof so dear sir anyone leaving such comments that i made all of this money with cryptocurrency and you do not provide proof your comment will be deleted and we will keep it moving because you just want attention because see here's the thing and i've been on this kick for some time i feel this is the thesis of glendon cameron that if you're the average american making between 30 and fifty thousand dollars a year if you're the average american with the average income invest in the stock market or cryptocurrency is a very bad situation for you this is my thesis and i've been on it because here's the thing it takes a significant sum of money invested to yield a significant sum men lie women lie math doesn't lie so all of you people because once again this carl renfield fool and i said fool with the most respect i can muster claims to be a billionaire and he did this in five years sam bankman freed was a legitimate cryptocurrency billionaire for two years now he's essentially worthless except there's thoughts that he stole the 600 million from the exchange could be don't know but here's the thing we have been in a climate where you're getting a steady dose of you can get rich doing nothing with little effort with little money very quickly for the longest period of time this is why are there die hard blockchain advocates absolutely and i think the die hard blockchain advocates represent five percent of the people in crypto and the other 95 percent are into it for a payday or cash out they wanted to to buy it low and have it go high and sell it high and cash out and get their bugatti and get their their blondes and get their you know fancy trips and the fly private they want all that they don't care about no blockchain technology they're only in it to get the money. And this is my message for you people. Scam after scam after scam after scam. Can we say BitConnect? Crypto is littered with pump and dump scams consistently. When you can say crypto, you can say scam. Now, if you are a person that feels that you're going to get rich, that you're going to make a lot of money, that you're going to secure a significant payday through cryptocurrency, chances are you're not. That's what the intelligence says. And I have been on this kick for a while. And once again, all you folks who are going to say, I made all this money with cryptocurrency and you will not give your basis what you start because another very slick way that people speak of cryptocurrency. Oh, I'm up 30, 40, 50 percent, 30, 40, 50 percent of what? Of what? 30% on a thousand, 50% on $500. What are you up on? See, this is the important details that they consistently leave out of the conversation because if someone walked up to you, it's like, yeah, man, my stock's up 45%. Congratulations, right? 45% of what? What'd you start off with? At the moment, 8% of the country's population owns 92% of the stocks. Let me say that again. 8% of the country owns 92% of the stocks. What are you talking about? The 
average stock portfolio of the 60 year old is $240,000. There are not that many people who are getting rich in the stock market. There are not that many people who are getting rich in the cryptocurrency, regardless of what you've been told. And this latest debacle with FTX is prime evidence of the scam ridden nature of cryptocurrency. Now, I've been talking about Graham Stephan for a minute and I'm not really talking about me, Kevin. Now, here and there, I've talked about me, Kevin, and I've talked about Andre Jack. And I have said this consistently without the YouTube money, they would not be wealthy. They've got all of their wealth from YouTube. And recently I put up videos where white content creators could see people. Oh man, you keep talking about Graham because you're jealous. White creators saying the same thing I'm saying because they're not blinded by the bling. They're not blinded by the money. They're like, well, he got his money from YouTube. Graham Stephan got his money from YouTube and sponsorships. Andre Jack got his money from YouTube and sponsorships. Meet Kevin got his money from, and Meet Kevin is taking it to another level. Meet Kevin is now putting out offers and, you know, don't know how they will turn out but he's putting out his own fund and it's driven by YouTube. Oh, let me, let me just let you get your hip to some. If you can create a YouTube channel and get a million subscribers in a year, if you know what you're doing, you can make 5 million that year. You don't even need all your, you only need a small percentage. Let's say you got a million subscribers, right? And you got 5% of your subscribers to pay you some money. That's um, that's 10,000 people. That's 10,000 people. You put out a hundred dollar offer. That's a million dollars. No, it's more than a million. So once again, understand that YouTube, and this is one of the reasons that I created the intellectual property school because YouTube is extremely powerful. YouTube can turn a bum into a millionaire in less than a year. YouTube. I was on YouTube and I saw this guy, young guy, right? He's part of Hellcat, Scat Pack, Track Hog Nation. The, there's a coat around the, the Dodge, the Hellcat, the Track Hog, the Scat Pack. There's a coat religion around these cars. And he's got the track hawk hack. And I'm looking at it and you know, it is not my type of content, but there's an audience for this content. And guess where he lives? He lives in my building. I was literally blown away because it's kind of funny. He don't have no furniture in his place. <laughs> it is funny. But I, like I said, this is a young guy. He, he's, he's got the right car for his audience. The track, the track hawk, the scat pack, the Hellcat. I mean, the Hellcat Red Eye is a coat car. So if you can go ahead and get the right stuff for YouTube, you can make a lot of money. You can make a ton of money with the right vehicle for YouTube. You can make a ton of money. I'm talking about a sick amount of money. And this young man who I don't even think is 20, 25. I, th I think he's under 25. He lives in a penthouse. You know what the penthouses go for here? 11,000 a month, 11,000 a month. He's making that kind of money from YouTube. And he only has like 170,000 subscribers. So understand YouTube can turn a bum into a millionaire with less than a year. So for all of you out there, you know, and I I'm, I'm gonna start preaching. I'm about to hold church for the folks who want to make money, for folks who want to up their income, for folks who want to claim it, for folks who want to believe in Jesus Christ, his Lord, your Lord and Savior. For those folks, start a business, start a business. If you're the average person with an average person income, you don't have enough money to invest in anything and get a meaningful return anytime soon. If you're an average person with an average income, you could become 
a millionaire in 40 to 50 years. So if you start investing when you were 16, you might get it. You might get there by 66 if you're an average person with an average income. And there's been numerous stories of these average people with these average incomes who have become exceptionally rich in the stock market. And there's always an angle. There was this one guy, he developed a fortune of like $77 million, but he was a UPS executive making $14,000 in the 50s. You know what the average income in the 50s was? $2,000 a year. This man was making seven times the average income. You think, and once again, back then, you didn't have cell phones, you didn't have the subscription, there was no cable. $14,000 was a lot of money. You could buy a brand new car for $800. $14,000 was a lot of money, a lot of money. And this UPS executive invested his money wisely Oh, that's right, because he was a UPS executive, he got stock options. So to make out that someone who was an average person with an average income without exceptional access to the UPS stock is blatant lies, blatant lies. I mean, there, there's so many stories of these so-called normal people with normal circumstances making all this money because they just practice a little discipline. I guarantee you, if you come across someone who has a legitimate multi-million dollar stock portfolio, there was something exceptional happening in their life. There's something. Someone died, left them some money, something happened. So for all of you folks, and I'm just saying this now, because guess what? There will be another crypto bull run. Remember what happened after BitConnect? And once people forgot, because a lot of people forgot about BitConnect, they forgot. And once people forget about this FTX scam, once people forget about it, they're going to pile straight up in the, all right, all right, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Bitcoin goes down to 2000. I'm gonna put 100K in the Bitcoin. You wanna know why? Cause y'all are gonna push it back up. Because that, see that, that belief that you can get rich doing little or nothing is strong. It is strong. So many people have this fantasy that they're going to sprinkle some coins over here and the coins are going to go to the moon. They're going to go to the moon. You can make all this money and every dream and fantasy that you have will be realized. So Bitcoin goes down to 2000. I'm going to put 100K into it because I know it's just a matter of time before y'all push it back up. It's just a matter of time because there's so many people who have the thirst. There are so many people who are in a position of lack. There are so many people who struggle. There are so many people who feel and who dream of instant wealth. Y'all keeping that crypto dream alive. Y'all are gonna keep it alive. Y'all gonna keep pushing cryptocurrency up. Y'all gonna keep it alive. And once again, Graham Stephan, he didn't make his money from business. He didn't make his money from real estate. He made his money from YouTube. And once again, unless you have a YouTube channel, you're not gonna be making Graham Stephan kind of money. Even though he took a hit on this, it's just a matter of time before people will forget. See, here's the thing. Graham Stephan's white and he will be forgiven. He will go on, he will, this is just a bump in the road for him. Graham Stephan ain't Kanye West. Graham Stephan has not committed any unmitigatable uh, sins. He referred something that turned out to be crap. That's what he did. He will be forgiven. He will go on. He will keep making this money. And all of them will. Graham Stephan, Andre Jack, me, Kevin, financial education. Because see, at some point, y'all are going to forget. Y'all are going to forget. And you're going to start like throwing money back into these things. Like I said, you know, I fully expect Bitcoin to go under 10,000. And I'm going to be on record. If Bitcoin goes down to 2,000, I'm going to buy 100K. It may take three, four, five, six, seven years. But I know at some point in the future, you guys will push it back up because you believe 
You believe that you can get rich by doing absolutely nothing. And as long as you have that belief, as long as you have that thought process, you will stick with it. You will you will stick with it. You will keep on. You will keep on on. So that's all I got to say. That's all that was on my mind. Yes, the channel is the Economic Shogun. The content's about to change up a little bit. Start doing some things I've never done before. You will see a different thing over here at these parts. You will see a different level of conversation. You will see a different level of content. I'm getting ready to, you know, as I already did, I got rid of the mail channels. I got rid of the corporate trader channel. I got rid of the, well, the corporate game thing is kind of out there floating around, but I can't access it. So I'm just going to move all those videos to my corporate game, which used to be B-School for Hustlers. So there's a lot of changes going on and hopefully you like it.